Mike has come up with a new style. It's called Weird. sleep. Sleep clothing. So basically you're prepared to go to sleep whenever you want. At all times. At all times. It's hard to see, so if you're walking and you're like, oh, there's a cat, oh, oh. <laughs> sleeping. But it's safer because you have a pillow. Like if you start falling, you can put the pillow in front of you and go to sleep. But at the same time, it's more dangerous because this. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, they like to touch you. Yeah, it's kind of hard to walk in a sleepy bag. It's like a pod. There you go. Anyway, am I doing this right now? Maybe I should be like this. Like, okay, um, I have to get uh, my car um, into the auto body shop for repairs. That is what we are doing today. We might go back to sleep. We might rent a car or something tomorrow, maybe. That's about it. So we dropped off Jimmy's car at the repair shop to repair some scratches on the hood. So now we're just out looking for a place to hide a new one. And my GPS is set to a topographical mode, so it's actually showing me trails and roads. And when you're trying to navigate somewhere, and it started taking me on some trails, now we're out here. We thought, hey, this might be a good, actually a good place to find one. So, but look, posted private property right up there. Oh man, in a new area. This is it. This is kind of an overview. So the last place we were at, we found out, is actually like a target shooting range. So, we're not going to put one there, that's kind of dangerous. But this place says, target shooting prohibited. So, like, that's a much better place. And it's, it used to be a road, I think. Like that way and this way, but it's now an abandoned road. And it's kind of turned into a hiking and bicycling trail. So we're going to hide this and that somewhere. It would be cool. This area shows evidence of flooding and is surrounded by blackberry bushes, as you can see. So it's a no-go for hiding these things. Well, I'm just saying this site is no no-go, but the other side maybe. We found a good spot for one by the creek and uh, couldn't find a good spot for the other one. We want to hide two. So, we're driving back to the apartment, Jimmy's apartment, and we decided to uh, find a few on the way back. Then we're gonna make some food, and then we're gonna come back and try and find another spot to hide my other one. And put some trackables in Jimmy's. Talk to you later. Yesterday, when we went shopping, we got some guanabana nectar. I don't even know what this is, but we got some. Jimmy's going to record my initial reaction to it here. So, does it say to shake or not? Uh, I'm not sure. 20% juice, that's better than most juices. It doesn't say to shake. But I will. Don't like... It's not like soda, I guess. But... but no. Might still like spray out at you a little bit. I don't know. I'm moving my camera. <laughs> Made a noise. It's done. Okay. The smell. Smells kind of like pineapple. Tastes almost like pineapple. 
It's like if you mix a pineapple with an apple. That actually sounds pretty good. I like it. Cool. It's good to try new things, like guanabanas. I don't know how to explain it though. So this is an interesting situation because this is a geocache that I have found that Jimmy has not. And we're in Reading, which is where Jimmy lives. And I'm three hours away. So it's kind of weird that there's a cache that I have found that he hasn't. And now he's looking for it. It's kind of like when I found or yeah, when I found the UPS one. Okay, he's getting closer. You're gonna like it when you see it though. You've had your hand on it, Jimmy. This? Where? This? This? Do you notice anything strange about that? No. It's not connected to anything. Why would that be there if it's not connected to anything? Actually, it wasn't connected. This bolt goes through the hole, and then to rehide it, you drop it in the top. Oh! And then you put the bolt on. So when you pull it out, it falls out the bottom. Wow! I know that one's pretty cool. That probably would have stumped me. And uh, whoa, I'm dizzy. Um, taking pictures and looking for a place to hide this thing. It's a good place. I think if we just look hard enough, we will find a good spot. Jimmy's over there. Okay, I'll let you know if you find a good place here. Hello. It is hidden at the base of that tree in a little hole. There's blackberry bushes surrounding it, very rough terrain, uh, and there's not really any trails. And there's, there is a few paths through this mess over here, and you can get to it that way, but it's very difficult and it's like a maze. There's ants and bugs and mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. There might be other dangerous creatures during the summer, like possibly snakes. And Mountain lions. Mountain lions. Deer. Deer. Don't underestimate the uh, They're strong. power of deer. They're very strong. They can jump high. Too. They can jump high. If they wanted to, I think they could uh, take over the human race. Same with ants. You saw a program yesterday about this kid who was almost killed by ants. And uh, we were thinking, like, if ants really, like, became smart and intelligent, they, were, they could easily take over the human race because they outnumber us by trillions on billions. And like if they come in in swarms, we could like destroy a bunch with like flamethrowers, nuclear bombs, and like <laughs> all sorts of stuff. And uh, they'd still take over because there's so many of them. And they have venomous like stings. And there's m multiple different species with like various different like like ways of doing things and they can even make boats out of their own bodies it's just freaky and awesome at the same time but they if they became intelligent they could take over the human race that's why I'm anti and if you haven't seen that video link down below All right, I just found another cache down this trail goes around goes back and whatever it's over there but as we were walking out, we found like an old uh, bed frame that was all taken apart. It was made out of brass, it looks like, or maybe it's just steel plated with brass, but 
whatever. Uh, we decided it looks kind of ugly just laying there in the grass. So we turned it into a uh, modern art project. Are you ready for the reveal, Jimmy? Almost ready. Finish it. Last touches. Mosquito. Ready? What do you wait? First, what do you want to call it? Uh, Brassa Hall. I don't know. Brassa Hall? Uh, I don't know. We can just call it, um, Brast. Brass bedspread. Okay, ready? Here it work. is. There it is. Do a 360 view. It's basically just pieces of bent bed frame and pine cones. Just shoved in the ground. It's modern art. They'll probably want to make it into a permanent fixture. They'll be like, whoa, that's cool. We should save it for future generations. Yeah. Oops, stepped on a pine cone. Well, anyway, that's cool. Well, let's just leave it there. It's our artwork. It's probably temporary, too. It adds to the meaning of it all. Because people might come and tear it apart. It, it's more zen that way. Over the... Over the... Take a picture of it? Yeah. I know it's dark, but here's like a summary of what we did. Okay, Jimmy, I think, found three caches. I found about 12. What else? We hid three. One mystery, two traditionals. We, uh... Sorry, in the door here. Um, we took pictures, we made an art. Yeah. That's about it.